Hello and welcome to our Homeboys Extra. Uh, I'm Jason, so hopefully you're listening to this during one of the normal Homeboys shows. So the reason for doing an extra here, I've got a very, very special guest, a guy that's uh, headline news at the minute. He's the man the Celtic community is all talking about at the minute. And they've been talking about him for years anyway. But uh, especially this week, uh, after his mum uh, got an audience with Pope Francis himself and handed over uh, the blessed Celtic shirt to the Pope with Francis one in the back. So it's none other than Linwood's favourite son, Paul the Tim. You there, Paul? Yeah, I'm here, Jason. How are you getting on? I'm doing good, wee man. I'm doing good. So, eh... Uh, Big week for you, mate. You're uh, you're in the headline news today. <laughs> well, it's hectic, it's hectic, hectic. hectic. <laughs> so a fem- a has been living in a cave, and uh, they've not got Twitter or not got Facebook, and uh, they don't know any other Celtic supporters there. You you wouldn't be listening to this show, but yeah. Paul yeah. Uh, over the course of last week, Paul's mum and his gran uh, were over to Rome. And Paul and his wisdom before they went, he went and bought a Celtic shirt. And he get Pope Francis one put in the back of it, and he gave it to his mum, and his plan was for his mum to give it to the Pope. So anybody that's been to Rome and been into St Peter's Square, I've been there myself, and you don't really get very near the Pope. So I would think the chances of handing it over would be very slim. But this is Paul the Tim we're talking about here, the man that creates miracles, and lo and behold, his mum got to give the Pope the cell extra. So uh, Paul, so tell us your story. How did you? How did you come up with the idea? I, I, I was out with dinner with, with, with a pal of mine, Jim, Jim Ward, and I was saying to him, him, him and Charlie McGinley, and I was saying, I was saying, I was saying to him, my mum and grandma were going to Rome, and I said, they said to me, why, why don't they get yourself to talk for a laugh and see, see if you can give it to the Pope? And then um, we went up the up the to shop and got it done. My mum, my mum thought, my mum thought was that I was off my fucking rocket. We'll <laughs> <laughs> get it done. But we got it done at Celtic shop, and we got Pope Francis one at the back, so she took it over. But, but I never, I never, I never actually thought in my wildest dreams that it should get, it should get handed to the Pope. It just, it just luck how it happened. So, so tell us where uh, is your mum home now? I take it. Yeah, yeah, she's home. She's home. Obviously. Right. So tell me, right? How did how did she get meeting the Pope? But where were they sitting, and how did it come about? Did the Pope just by chance just walk past them or something? Oh, it, it was it was raining on Wednesday morning, and and, and she put she moved my grand she moved grand into the wheelchair bit in the St Peter's Square. Right. So they said, they said to them, "You're getting in a room to watch the to watch the papal audience." And and some and some 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 Swiss guy came over to him and said, "You go get a papal blessing of the Pope." And my grandma was like, "No, no chance." She <laughs> <laughs> thought the guy, the guy was at it. <laughs> Brilliant. And in this room, and the Pope, the Pope came out, and it must have been about a hundred Pope in the room. So my mom, my, my grand, my, my grand, seen other folk, other folk giving giving them presents. So Grant said to my mum, I was just giving myself the talk then. Oh, amazing. And uh, so did he say anything when they gave him it? He just, he, he, thought, he, he thought the talk was to be blessed. But my mum said to him, no, it's a present for you. He went like, oh, oh thank you. And he's <laughs> looking at a label. <laughs> Because he's, he's a big football fan. He's actually, yeah. he's a big San Lorenzo yeah. fan in Argentina, isn't he? Yeah, he my mum my mum said he kinda laughed. He laughed and Yeah, I think he knew what it was anyway. Aye, you just you just know he'll be he'll be making his dinner uh, in the Vatican the night cutting about with the Celic strap on, won't he? It'd be good, it'd be good just if he was. Ah, uh, magic man! What a story! What a story! So I tell, to so see the photographs that the photographs that you've got were they took by like, Vatican photographers? Yeah, yeah, I got I got them from a website. Some some boy sent sent the link on Facebook. The Italian website, right? Brilliant. Got them off. Got them off that. Well, you'll need to get them framed, mate. They're 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 a they're a thing get, to keep for the rest of your life. I'm getting. I'm getting them sent out. I bought them last night and also websites. I'm getting them sent. I'm going to get them framed. 
Oh, absolutely brilliant. You should try and get one into Celtic Park as well. <laughs> I will. I know. Oh, brilliant, man. I'm absolutely delighted for you. You know, because you, you took a bit of abuse over this, didn't you? Because when you, yeah, you put yeah. it on some of the websites, you told people you were going to get, give this to the Pope. A lot of people mocked yeah. you and tried to take the mickey yeah. and stuff like that, but uh, you've proved them wrong again, mate. I've ever had a phone you are bonkers. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> but, uh, um, 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 my mum said, my mum said as well that the security guards, the security guards took the top off the Pope. One of the security guards opened it up, and the two, two of them started laughing. <laughs> brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Uh, amazing, amazing. And uh, it just goes, I mean, the thing I see about yourself, Paul, yeah, you come up with a lot of stuff on the websites, but you always follow yeah. up and you do what you say. Do you know what I mean? You're a, man of, you're a man of your word. And you said you would deliver the Celtic strip to the Pope, uh, and by God, you've delivered it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, just, I, I just can't believe it. I've been, I've been buzzing all week. Oh, no wonder, man, no wonder. That's just a, just a, it's a lifetime opportunity that nobody, none of us will ever get the chance to, to, to do anything like that. You know, I've been to see the Pope a couple of times. Uh, no, no, the new one, Francis. Uh, I've seen Benedict a couple of times. And, uh, it just, Benedict as well. Aye, and it's just, you know, and for being a Catholic and things like that, it's, it's an amazing experience. But for, for a member of your family to give the Pope a gift, you know, and then for it to go all over the place, and uh, so obviously you you want to kind of clear your name here as well because uh, there's a daily newspaper today that we don't want to mention its name, and through the Celtic community, there's no money as of get any time for this newspaper, but they yeah. kind they kind of stole your uh, they basically took tweets and stuff like that yeah. and your photos because it's out in the public domain, so they used it. But the interview was nothing to do with your good self, is that right, uh, mate? I mean, nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with you, but. And I, I told them not. Ah, you, they, they asked you, and uh, you said you wouldn't do an interview with them, which is very commendable, mate, and I appreciate that. And But what they have done is they've said they're going to do a wee donation to a charity of your choice. Is that right, yeah. mate? Uh, almost, almost sent away, said almost sent in Glasgow. Brilliant. So some goods come out, at, you know, so at the end of the day, you've been in a national newspaper, albeit yeah. it's read by galoots. But uh, yeah. <laughs> but at least something's good in uh, uh, the homeless centre, which will be a charity very close yeah. to Pope Francis's heart, I'm sure. Yeah, because I mean the thing about Pope Francis, I mean I know the Catholic Church is much maligned at times, but yeah. this Pope we've got at the minute, mate, he has the business, and to me, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's, he's sort of bringing the church back to the people. I seems to look after the homeless and the poor. Aye, absolutely, mate, and it's brilliant, and it's uh, just it's uh, an amazing fairy tale story, and uh, <laughs> I'm delighted you come. Okay. On, you, I know I'm just delighted you come on to share it with us, mate. Yeah. Yeah. So, what, what about the Celtic yeah. these days, mate? What are you what are you thinking about the Celtics? You obviously, you're the man that doesn't miss a game. So, uh, I don't, well, I've been okay this season. They've been pulling the cups, but we'll take the league. You happy enough? I am happy enough. Happy enough. And what's your, what's your, uh, what's your, what are you looking for next season? So what's your target for Celtic next season? I like, I, I like them to get a treble. You like treble. a treble? What about the Champions League? I think, I think it's making the stages that, especially when you play three, three, three qualifiers. Aye. Anything else is a bonus, doesn't it? Aye, I would kind of agree, mate. I mean, at the end of the day, if somebody put a gun into my head and says, pick two things for next season, you take the league and I would take Champions League qualification all day long. I would I would have a repeat of this season. You know, and it's... Yeah. it's I know Lenny was in for a bit of stick for no one in the two cups, but at the end of the day, it is a cup competition. Aberdeen, I think he, he got his tactics wrong and stuff like that. Yeah. Didn't they play Griffiths for the start? But... Aye. At the end of the day, hindsight's a great thing, you know, and we're all miracle workers, you know, after the event. But, uh, aye, it's obviously a bit disappointing when we're not going to Hamden. And, uh, but it's my wee boy's first communion that day, so that had to be my first cup final. Aye, I missed. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I know, but I'm still gutted uh, we're not in the final. But, aye, so, so which year? Uh, that's why I've been so far. I know, I know, I know. Having to go, I know we'll probably not, maybe never get another chance to witness a cup final at Celtic Park, but uh, there you go. So, what do you think with, with the signings and stuff like that? Do you think Big Virgil will still be there next season? Oh, hopefully, hopefully. I think I think we'll get another, I think we'll get another crack at the Champions League next summer. Aye, aye. You, you would you would like no, to no. think so? You would like to hope so? Aye, I don't I don't know the big keeper. I think he'll be away in the summer. 
getting big Foster. Aye, because yeah, if he goes Cup. to the World Cup, aye, you're right, mate. You're right. So who are you shouting on in the World Cup? I'll, I'll, I think I'll shout for Argentina and Honduras. Argentina. Aye. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Aye, okay. Well, as a he's he's come back right back onto a game now, and I think I think he yeah. loves it as Celtic. What do you think? That's right. That's one of the people love the fans. I know, and I think I think uh, hopefully he'll be there for the long term. You know, hopefully. I think, aye, and he's I think come, think, uh, he'll be there to the push man. Uh, uh, hopefully, mate. What about Lenny? Do you think Lenny will be there next season? I think so. I think he will. I would like to think so, mate. I would like to think so. And uh, what about the what about the carry on uh, across the park at the dark side? What do you think of that? You raising a wee smile at that, I know. It's good. It's good. It's a good laugh. It's just a comedy show, isn't it? It is. Every time you read that, but other something, something different. <laughs> you couldn't <laughs> fall it with radar, could you? Know? Oh, oh, oh. I know. So. The reason we've got you on to do a wee recording here as well is Monday night you, you I asked yeah. you to come on the Homeboy show, but you couldn't come on on Monday night uh, if we were doing a show. I'm not sure there's one guaranteed. So, what are you up to on Monday night? Off to Murphy, Youth Cup final. Last Youth Cup final. Youth Cup final at Selic Park against the Dark Side. Against the Sevco, right. Against the Sevco, mate, yep. And uh, do you fancy us for a victory? I fancy us. We, we, we can beat the last game, but the goalkeeper, the goalkeeper was well that night, but I think, I think they'll do well. Right. And you, you go to a lot of the youth games now, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Right. So you've just, you've branched out, you never miss a home game, home or away. Sorry, you never miss uh, a first team game, home and away. And now, youth youth games as well. Uh, do you go to any of the youth away games? I, I go to most of them. You go to most of them? I uh, back, back for Ross County and have a beer. Aye. There you go, mate. Happy days. You're a diehard. So, what, what, right. uh, three Champions League qualifiers, you'll be the three of them, I take it? Uh, hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully. So, so tell, tell us the million dollar question that people keep asking <coughs> you. How do you get the time out of your work? <laughs> The man, the man does a good time. <laughs> it must be. <laughs> do you use holidays for anything else apart from going to watch Celtic? No, 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 Jason. <laughs> <laughs> oh brilliant don't get me wrong when I was when I was your age I was kind of <laughs> I wasn't as bad as you but I was kind of the same myself pre-season tours every game in Europe and stuff like that you know I loved it but uh, now I'm married with a family and things like that uh, different priorities I, mean, I try to get to as many as I can I see you know, the away game when I make the away games and the odd European trip but uh, I don't get to as many as I would like to you know but uh, I still you know, ten out of ten for your passion, mate, and your commitment. Because I remember when you done the post when we we drew uh, Shakhtar Karagandi, and you yeah. you put a post up and you says, uh, "How do you get to Kazakhstan?" And folk were mocking you, but you made it. <laughs> I made it alright. It's a bit of worry because the visa, because I booked up, I booked up. I think I never had to get a visa. <laughs> that bastard that, that, that I was. So how, how well, many I, flights I, did I you have to get? get yeah. How many flights? What? How many flights did you have to get to get there? I got one for London to Moscow, then Moscow to Astana. Right. Astana. All oh, right. So three flights, didn't it? London, then Mo- London to Moscow, Moscow. And were you just flying out yourself? No, I, I, I met a couple of boys in London. Right. So it was three years. Threes, aye. Right. So how many Celtic fans were there? Was there some like twelve or something? I think there was about fifteen. Fifteen. Some of them had came from Russia, but didn't they? Uh, 15, 15 travel for the UK. Oh, 15 for the UK, right. Aye. There you go, mate, there you go. So, uh, no, brilliant, and uh, I'm delighted for you, man, I'm delighted for your story, your story's got out there, and it's putting everything in a positive light. So many, so much bad news about the me man, and uh, you've just uh, brightened up everybody's, <laughs> brightened up everybody's week, and you're the only, do you know, I got a text from a mate in Belfast today, <laughs> and he texts me a photo of the Pope, like, holding up, a, it was obviously like a photo shop, <laughs> Ah, it's a photo show. Aye. Well, some, some folk guys, I think that's real. Aye, so the Pope's got the Celtic shirt. So I actually text him back, and I text him back with your photo of your mum yeah. handing the strip over. And I say, yeah. is that, I know we, Paul. <laughs> and I say, that's his mammy. And he couldn't believe it. He says, you are joking. He didn't know it was actually, like, he doesn't buy the 
son or anything like that. Yeah. So he didn't yeah. know, and he's not on Twitter, and so he didn't know the Pope actually received a strip. He was thinking <laughs> somebody had just made it up, and he couldn't believe it. That was a joke. Aye, so absolutely brilliant, mate, absolutely brilliant. So, as I say, Paul, thanks again for coming on and sharing your story with me, man. No problem, Jason. Absolute pleasure. Make sure, maybe in a week on Monday or whatever, give homeboys a wee call in, mate. I'll give you a call in, I'll give you a call in. No bother, when the season starts in earnest, eh, you 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 maybe give us a wee call in for Moldova or something like that, wherever you are. (laughs) Hopefully. (laughs) All right, Paul, thanks a lot, mate. Take care. See you Cheers, later. Cheers, mate. Bye. Bye. Bye.